Hey everyone, I wish to welcome everyone to my channel. Uh, this is Dutu Njoroge. Uh, today I want to prepare potato wedges in our traditional African way um, at my parents' place because of the electoral process and they thought I should take a break at home. And because my potatoes are not that big, what I've done, instead of uh, doing the wedges themselves, I've done halves because they're a little bit smaller. Uh, since I never bought them, I got them from uh, as excesses from our farm. I've already peeled them, as you can see. I started off with peeling them. Uh, then from there, uh, I will clean them. So my major ingredient today is uh, cooking oil for frying. I'll need uh, turmeric for, for color. And I also need salt, which I've put in this container. I'll also need uh, water for boiling and branching. That is my water in the bucket. And uh, I think I'll start off with the process. The first process will be me rinsing off the potatoes. I'll put them in the spray which I'll use to branch them because first of all I'll branch them so that when I fry them they will be ready. That's what you do. Then I'll add my turmeric powder, just enough for the amount of potatoes that I, that I have. There you go. Then I'll add some salt, uh, just enough to add the taste. Then from there, I should mix them so that uh, I'm doing this so that uh, the salt and the turmeric powder is evenly distributed. Then from there, I'll add my water. And as I've said, I'm using a uh, traditional jiko. My fireplace is ready. Then from there I'll cover my potatoes and leave them for a while until until they are ready. And uh, when they're ready, I'll branch them using the remaining water or uh, I'll cool them using the remaining water so that they don't break. The reason I'll cool them with the cold water is for me to maintain them as whole so that they won't have breakages from this level to the other one. Uh, I'll give them around uh, 20 to 30 minutes or uh, that is not sorry exactly 15 to 25 minutes and they will be ready for me to remove and then I'll put my oil in the fireplace. Uh, let's wait for the 15 minutes and see what happens. I've already brought my potatoes down. They are ready and I've put my deep frying pan on the fireplace. As I'm branching, I'll wait for my oil to be ready, for, for my oil to warm, to get hot. I'm hoping that is enough. If not, Condensed. Um, those are my potatoes. What I want to do is I want to drain the water. That is why I have a clean area here, in which I will drain the extra water. Damn hot. Mm, the steel. Ah, there they go. Then I'll add my cold water. Uh, some of the reason why while branching we have cold water it's because uh, one of the main purpose is to maintain the flavor, maintain the color, and uh, to hold the potato together like one when you branch them they won't break down as you fry 
in case they head over cold place. Uh, then from there, I'll bring them to have two bowls. One bowl is uh, I'll put the fried potatoes in uh, or the my wedges in one of the bowls when I fry them. And right now, I want to drain these ones from the water to this extra bowl so that they don't have water. There we go. Look at the color, they look so good. There we go. one or two three pieces that have broken but the others are quite compact and whole mm. Don't mind the smoke behind me while doing my general cleaning. So we decided to burn to spill some go water on my pan. We won't do that next time. Because my potato I need to prepare this for this but my oil gets ready. So quick I've pulled uh, up some bags from fire wood. And stuff and make my logs quickly. So for that, I need to add them here so that the oil gets hot. This is good because the wind is as hot as possible. Enough. Honest, give me that bowl of oil. I'll burn it nicely. This extra oil that I had used previously in preparing the same ingredients, I want to top it up. And I put it here because I don't want to put the waste on the low end. I'm trying to save it. Because the residue from my previous cooking. And I'm thinking my oil will be ready in a short while. As you can see, my fire now is ready. My fire will be ready in a minute from now. As we wait for my own to get ready, <coughs> uh, let's cut up when it's ready. See you then. Cut up. Oh, my cooking oil got ready, but my phone ran out of charge. I've already done my first plot. Here it is. So I'll be deploying the other amount. Let me see what happens. 
It's here, is it? And it's later. I'm doing something. I want to do two spoonful because the oil is much. I'm sure they will be cleaned up my hands. Uh, I'm using my hands so that I avoid having them break me. Yeah. Then what happens? We leave them for some minutes to fry. Uh, maybe should show you please help my boy. There you go. Uh, there, there, there you are. Uh, these are the ones that I already brunched but are not yet fried. Uh, and these ones are the ones that are already done. They are quite cool and uh, they are quite yummy. Um, you can have these with uh, different types of food. You can have these with a uh, chicken that is wood fried chicken or uh, dry chicken. You can have these with greens. You can also have these with minced meat and you can also have these with wet fried meats. You can have these with wet fried pork or with, with pork. Uh, personally, I decided you're having this with what? Um, but um, before I finish the process, I know my pool have decided on what they would want to take it with. We equate a number of us, myself, my two sons, and my two brothers. My parents apparently are not even around, so we are five of us. So it's a day for them to decide exactly what they would want to take this with. Um, before we are done, we'll do some samples. Uh, but uh, let me continue with this process until we are done. And we'll see what happens. I'll be sharing the pictures for the final product from here because the only process remaining is deep frying. Uh, welcome back. Finally, we have our final product. That is how it looks. I decided to come around the farm and show, show off my product from the farm. Uh, this is how it looks. It's not oily and you can spot uh, it's not soggy at all. You can see it, the way it looks so cool. Uh, not used any special equipment to drain the oil. Nothing much, just deep frying uh, using the normal ingredients and uh, the available ingredients at home. We can decide to have posh food at home in a local way without much expenses i uh, wish to remind everyone i want to welcome everyone back to my channel uh, kindly remember to subscribe remember to hit the bell button so that you're able to get new notification on whatever we do and we already have uh, duty delicacies and caterers which is running and we'll be through Dirty Delicacies and Caterers will be sharing uh, quite a number of receipts and a number of menus uh, that can be done locally, that uh, can be done without spending so much. Uh, we want to like encourage everyone to treat their families and treat their children with the most available things at home and prepare healthy meals. Kindly, kindly remember to subscribe to our channel and do not forget to try out to wages within your local way uh, you can do this and I trust everyone should try this uh, have it with your most favorite dish as I said you can have this with minced meats you can have this with chicken you can have this with wet fried beef and at the same time you can have this with uh, beef or you can have this with vegetable oil cheers peaceful electro process uh, let's vote wisely and remember to maintain peace uh, within this duration that is during the electoral process and after because we shall remain to be neighbors and we shall remain to be one. Peace, love and unity. Be blessed.